Come on into the library. It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Milton Wordsworth. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story maker. Story makers. Midnight. Hello. Has everybody gone? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Milton Wordsworth, story maker and a magical maestro, at your service. <gasps> Milton! 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 What is it, my fellow story makers? This is a box of treasure. Surely not. Oh, it is. Yes, I heard the children talking about it. Yes, uh, you put your hand in and dig for buried treasure. Whoa. Can I have a go, please? Yes, absolutely not. Oh. Why not? Not until I've had a go first. <laughs> oh, that was lucky. And rapid and rapid. And rapid and rapid. This is terribly exciting. <laughs> I wonder what it is. Oh, I'm all fingers and thumbs. <laughs> thumbs. <laughs> Oh, Ooh. how useful. Well, well, it would be useful if we had a sand pit. <laughs> oh, I, I know. What? Let's put, put it, it in the story machine. Now, this is where we need your help. It takes a lot of imagination to get this story machine going. So put your hands up like this and imagine the story coming alive. Think about it in your head. Imagine. imagine. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story! Oh, it's a playbook! <laughs> and it's called Saranor and the Sandpit. What to do in the morning sun? Bounce, dig, or laze away. Even sliding would be fun. Or perhaps build a sand castle. A magnificent one. Lema and Saranor prepare to build in the cool, printy, gritty pit. Fill up the bucket. Now tap, 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 tap it. The first tower is done. It's standing tall. After one, two, three, four more towers, the castle wall. When the sand castle's finally finished, stand back, enjoy a job well done. But wait a second, something's wrong. The sunglasses Saranor had before have vanished, disappeared, gone. Ah, Lima's found a dinosaur, a car, a tennis ball, and what's more, an icky, sticky sock. Saranor's sunglasses are still hidden then. <laughs> Even after finding Mum's favourite pen. Oh, you found my pen! That's fantastic! Thank you, Saranor. Saranor starts to lose all hope of ever seeing her glasses again. When, giving the sand tower a bit of a poke, out they pop, still wonderfully pink. Just think. 
Saranor and Lamer never planned to have a treasure hunt in the sand. Mijon, Mijon, yes, we had our dip in the treasure box and we found these. Oh, they're fantastic. And they squeak. What are they for, Mijon? Uh, apparently, I believe dogs like playing Ooh, with them. Dogs? I wonder. Uh, what shall we do with them? Put them in the story machine. <laughs> <laughs> One story with bones coming up. <laughs> hmm. They're very squeaky, aren't they? Do you remember what to do? Imagine, imagine, imagine a story! It's a sniff and wag story. And it's called Pirates. Sniff and Wag are friends. When the day ends and the sky grows dark, they sneak into the park through a hole in the fence. The two dogs are burying a bone one night. When they find an old bottle with something inside it. It's a treasure map, barks Sniff in surprise. The cross marks the spot where the treasure lies, but it looks wrong because the cross is in the middle of the pond. I bet the loot's buried on the Isle of Coots. Sniff and Wag race to the pond and gaze over the water to the island beyond. Wag wonders how they'll get across. We'll use a boat, of course. We're, We're pirates with, with whiskers and, and paws. Sailing to far away shores. We're mean and we're hell and ever so scary. But we're only pretending, of course. Aha! Your boat isn't going very fast, says a goose, gliding past. We're doing our best, sniff barks. When they reach Coot Island, a sandy piece of land, they split up and have a sniff around. Over here! I think the treasure's buried here. Come and see. Quiet, honks a goose. Can't you see I'm trying to sleep? Dig, dogs, dig. Quick, quick, quick. <gasps> Look, what's this? A casket is what they find. With shiny, moony, blue stones inside. Oh, wow, wow! Back on the boat, on the way home, the boat starts to sink. Let's swim for it, Wag barks. As if, out of nowhere, the goose flies down. Climb on my back and I'll fly you home. Hold tight, there may be stormy weather. Snuggle up amongst my feathers. When Sniff and Wag are safely home, they give the goose some shiny stones. A pirate's life is a dangerous one. But it's ever such fun, says Wag. Good night. Sleep tight, my little friends. Tomorrow, we will play again. <laughs> oh, what shall we do now? I know! We can see if there's some more squeaky bones in the box! No! Why don't you go and see if the children made any pictures today? Oh, yes, they did! <laughs> they did! <laughs> <laughs> Milton! Milton! Yes. We, we found two pictures! Well, let's <laughs> pop them in, shall we? Yes. You remember what to do? Imagine! Imagine! Imagine. Imagine a story!
It's a blue cow story. Blue cow and the blue whale. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, blue cow was thinking about other blue animals. I wonder what it would be like to meet a blue whale. She's off again, said the other cows. So blue cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a return ticket to a place where I can meet a blue whale, please. There you are, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for the ocean. And then they arrived. When Blue Cow got off the bus, she could hardly believe her eyes. All around her were enormous lumps of ice floating in the sea. She thought she was on a cold grey island, but the island was moving. Rachel! A huge spurt of water shot up from a hole. The whole island sprung backwards. <laughs> said Blue Cow. A large eye looked up at her. I bred the blue whale, said a sad voice. I'm Blue Cow. You don't look very blue. Retchu! Another spurt of water came out of the hole. I know. I'm a bit off colour at the moment. I have a Retchu cold. Blue Cow held tightly onto Brad's tail. Can I help? She asked. Well, I'd like to go to a warm sea, but every time I sneeze, I go backwards. Retchu! Sniffled Brad. Well, why don't you swim backwards and I can point you in the right direction? Oh, great! Yeah, yeah, keep my tail pointing towards the sun. Retchu! Full sneeze ahead, said Blue Cow. Retchu! 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 Sneezed Brad. Right a bit. Retchu! Left a bit. Retchu! Mind the ship. Retchu! Watch the rock. Retchu! Hey, it's getting warmer, and there isn't any ice in the sea now. And you've gone blue! And I've stopped sneezing. Thank you, Blue Cow. Now we're both blue. Yes, we certainly are, said Blue Cow. You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been to meet a blue whale who had a cold. Everyone knows cows can't go to meet blue whales. But we know they can, don't we? <laughs> Look, the first ray of dawn. We must be hidden away before the librarian arrives. But what about the treasure? What treasure? But the treasure that we took, there won't be enough for the children. Very true. How many did we take? Um, Three. <laughs> the dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories and we bid you goodbye. Bye, story makers. See you again soon.